So starting off today, well, we do have a little bit of a visitor over on this side. That's right, the traveling merchant is here today. Let's see what he's got. Master gamer's jacket. I'll take that and the gamer's pants and a nice leopard skin rug. This right here is actually really nice because we can buy 10 of these and we can make as many as we want. And these kind of buff our stats, which is really nice. We already have a DPS meter right here. So I don't really need that. Uh, blue team block. I might take a few of these. I think we need 100 of them. Yeah, 100 of them in order to uh, completely unlock them. So I'll grab some of those. Ooh, and he's selling the ultra bright torches. Now that I see that, oh, that's so nice. I, I, I'm not I'm not a fan of the color of these, but these are really bright, which is nice. And we got a stopwatch. This plays how fast the player is moving. And I'll grab that. All right, man. Thanks for all the stuff. So what are we gonna do today? Well, I have a lot planned for today. Um, we need to get a meteor to spawn. One way or another, we got to get a meteor spawn, and I think I can go ahead and do that right now. We can kind of jump towards our goal today, and that is to get a meteor to spawn for us. Um, I need to go ahead and, and just get these things set up in the duplication menu and get it ready to rock and roll, right? I also went ahead and bought everything from the painter. I think we're getting really close to almost having all the mushrooms. And we're also getting pretty close to almost having all of the vile mushrooms, which is what I need to be able to fight the boss today. That's right. I want to I want to fight the Eater of Worlds. I want to fight that guy today and uh, see what we can't do. I really like the speed meter. That's kind of cool. So just like last time, I want to head down here and I want to destroy me some more of these orbs. Now, I don't want to destroy three. I've already destroyed one. And we definitely need to destroy more than that. So I seen there was a gathering of two there. That's not okay. Uh, let's also consume this. I think this one will be fine. And then we can just start throwing those down. And hopefully that'll be enough to break it. I think it will. Yeah, that'll totally be enough. So an echo screams around me. And I just got the scepter, right? What did I get? We gotta get rid of this guy. Um, I thought it said scepter. Am I wrong? Oh my gosh, we're gonna have these so many of these guys. Ooh, he just gave us a burger. How nice is that? I went ahead and made this kind of battle arena. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to defeat this boss on the first try, but unfortunately, I'm not having any luck with a meteor spawning. I haven't seen it come up. We've destroyed two. If we destroy one more, well, the boss spawns. So I'm gonna hope that my mini shark is going to do the job. Unfortunately, like the, like the mini shark just doesn't have any modifiers on it or anything. So it is what it is. And I hope that uh, with all the stuff I placed down, so I've placed down some banners, I've placed down, well, the mana regeneration really doesn't matter, but the regeneration does matter. And you can see I'm about to lose all of my modifiers um, or all of my uh, enchants and stuff from my potions. So we have regeneration right now, plus this regeneration, plus this regeneration. I hope that's enough regeneration to keep us afloat. I also have some healing potions, but as far as everything else goes, I mean, it is what it is, right? So I'm gonna try my best. Let's go down here and let's get this battle started. I went ahead and made this this so we can uh, try and get up here as quick as possible. Yeah, and I also wanna break the double orb as well that's over here. So I'm gonna try and break this and then just try and get out of here as quickly as possible without dying. That's the goal, you know? I hope it's possible. <laughs> I really do. I really hope I can get out of here as quick as possible. Let's break this. I hope that doesn't actually break the orbs and start it right right now. Oh, it didn't. Okay. Okay. So, I think one more throw right here. We'll, uh, we'll get this party started. And we're going to have to get out of here. 
ASAP. Now I'm gonna try and grab all the items. There are traps down here. Let's fix those first. Let's fix those traps. We'll just break them. And then we'll go. These two orbs. Man, oh man, there's another trap right there. Another boulder trap. All right, guys, come on. There we go. All right, we'll place this right here. Let it break. That's going to summon the boss. Oh, was not expecting to be injured there. Okay. We need to get out of here some way. Right now, we are doing, like, no damage, unfortunately. Yep, I think we are going to end up losing this battle. Oh, quick. All right. Oh, I can't. I can't do it. Okay, let's take our potions. Let's think about this for a second. All right, I should be able to reach through that. Okay, oh. Goodness. And then we need to get up here. All right. Yep. And now we're in our battle arena. Okay. This should be a little bit better. Oh, it shoots stuff at us. Do you see that? It is totally shooting things at us. Oh, that's not good. That there is not good at all. All right, there's the tell in. Let's e eat another potion. We're getting shot at from all over the place, but we are we are getting somewhere. Oh man, this is kind of rough. I'm watching my healing potion. Let's get, make sure we keep that regeneration. No! Ah! Oh, so close. Oh, man. that That's tough. It really is. It's really tough. We don't have the proper tool. Um, usually, we can get lucky, and there's an actual tool that we can use. Um, I don't think we got it either out of there. So we end up getting the shadow orb, which is kind of nice, but that's not what I want. So we have the band of star power. Oh, man, I think if we would have had better healing potions, things would have been a lot better, but we're not quite there with those healing potions. So this time, I think I have a little bit of a different strategy. I'm going to try and use grenades and see if that doesn't work. That should that should work. At least I, I hope so. Um, I am going to need a better strategy for getting out of here, though. That's for sure. Okay, so here's our orbs. Um, and I believe since we broke one, we kind of are... We kind of only need to break, I think, two. Or, yeah, we only, we only need to break two. So this should be one. Okay. So screams echo around you. What do we get from this, by the way? So we got a musket from that. So we're still getting the same items, unfortunately. All right, let's break this one and let this be... You know what? I, I'm i kind of scared to break it because of these right here. So you know what? Let's go from this angle. Because I do have some sticky bombs. I want to go from this angle because I'm afraid that if I, I put a, a set one off over here, it'll damage me like it normally does. Um, Everything else. So... Okay, so we'll set this off here and get ready to go. All right, here we go again with the boss. So we got another shadow orb. Okay, so we got perfect escape this time. Let's buff. Uh, nearly perfect. I shouldn't have, uh, I shouldn't have spoke too soon. <laughs> All right, we got to make it to our arena. I did build another platform. So that should help us. We need to avoid the head. The head is really dangerous. Okay. This is going to hurt. Okay. 
All right, and then use our abilities. Yeah, I don't know how well this is going to work. I'm going to try it, though. Yeah, yikes. Yeah. Those little, uh, like, balls that attack you, those are pretty rough. These javelins hopefully have piercing. Yeah, this... just Yeah, it might be too too much. Ah, oh, It's just too much right now. I, I don't... Hmm. This makes me question... Whether we should go hunting for more weaponry. So, I definitely have another plan. Instead of just using orbs, what we can do is actually make this which is worm food. And we can now unlock this in the duplication menu. And worm food, we scroll down in our tools, not in here, sorry. We gotta, we gotta take care of this guy real quick. We open up here and we get rid of the E-I-E. <laughs> we can now pull out the worm food and go back to our base. And I think this is actually going to be a pretty decent place to fight this boss. And now we can retry. Look at this. This at night, which I mean, of course, I can sleep in the bed, should I summon, right? I have to consume it at night, I believe. And then we can now get this boss going. Oh, man. All right. So... Snooze in the bed to speed up times or speed up time time five and uh, I'll meet you there. All right. So we're all buffed up ready to go. I should be able to consume this in some way. Potentially. Do I have to be in that biome? I hope I don't. Summons the eater of worlds. I mean, it's definitely dark enough. The moon is out. It's just, it's actually not letting me summon it. Interesting. Maybe I do have to be in its biome. I mean, it kind of makes sense. All right, here we go. Yes, that's exactly what it is. It requires us to be here. Oh my goodness. So in this mode, it always is shooting those projectiles at us. And if we could just negate those projectiles for just a little bit. Luckily, we have like a little bit of a uh, like a zone where, oh man, we have a little bit of like an area oh, where we have to wait for this thing. Oh, shoot. We are going to die. I wonder if we can lead it to our base. Probably not. Yep. Oh boy. We just split it, but I don't think that's going to be enough. Yep. Here we go. I mean, us taking one damage is actually kind of crazy. Because I'm able to almost survive that like we have 13 seconds left ah oh, and we died all right so i'm gonna go after it again yet another attempt i'm gonna see if like standing here gives me that immunity if i could just keep spamming this Will that work? Oh my gosh, it is working. As long as we like maintain that immunity. Of course, right now we're getting just peppered. But like if we can get inside this. Oh my goodness. Yeah, no, that didn't work. That didn't, I mean, it almost worked. It worked at the beginning. So I'm actually going to try it underground. I did see this thing. This sometimes can be the sword. Okay, it wasn't, unfortunately. 
So I'm trying to get a platform set out here that is going to work out for this, I hope. <laughs> I'm going to try to find them underground because apparently above ground, according to the wiki, it will always emit those spikes, but not if it's underground. So that is one way of, uh, I guess one way they make it harder to fight above ground, which honestly is working because it is pretty hard to fight above ground. Don't get me wrong. All right. So yeah, these guys do a little bit of damage. Ugh. They're so nasty. Whenever you're, come on. Not near their flags. Goodness. Alright, so yeah, we definitely need a regeneration. So, I was uh, thinking about placing some regeneration lamps all along this. Uh, just to make sure that we have enough. Right? Let's also make sure that guy's gone. So, some regeneration lamps. Come on, get out of here. Uh, I guess it's going to be under the... Miscellaneous? Consumable, I figure to be under like decorative blocks or something like that. Blocks. Yes, under blocks. Okay. So under blocks. Here we go. Get out of here, man. Okay. Goodness. All right, we need to place these down. That works there. Honestly, anywhere like up in here works, down here. All of this works in case we get, you know, put over here some for some reason. We can throw those up. I think that works pretty well. Okay. That's not going to replace them. There we go. All right, so moment of truth for fighting it underground. Let's see if this works any better. I don't know. It might work better. It does seem like... We can definitely, like... Maintain this a little bit better. Okay, so it's still shooting us, which is not good. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Nope, that doesn't work either. So I guess you can call this lucky, but we just got the magic hat. I don't think it's going to matter, though, as it's going to reduce our defense by quite a bit. And I'm not really liking the idea of having our defense any lower than it already is. Yeah, that's probably not a good thing. But, I mean, I did get some more platforms and stuff, but yeah. All right, I'm going, going for it. All right, head, eat that. I'm going to try a little bit more ranged and try to stay away as much as possible. You know, as much as I can and try to try to focus on dodging those little balls as much as possible. Oh my goodness. Yep, this is not working. Oh my goodness. It's those ball attacks. They are they are horrible. I mean, and they're not as bad underground, but they are still, they're, they're still bad. So I'm going to try this just a, a little bit differently this time. I'm going to see if I can't, let's pay attention to the head now. Okay. He's going to surround me now. Oh, that does so much damage. Yep. And I got this back now. Let's get through here. Okay. Okay. 
I'm trying to I'm trying to go Yep, okay. Oh man. I'm trying to let this heal back up as best I can. And not get destroyed by it. Oh man. All right, so I went ahead and made myself, now that I have the Vile Thorn, I went ahead and made myself a lovely potion that should hopefully help with everything. And uh, it's called a Magic Power Potion. And it should make the Vile Thorn a pretty deadly weapon, but I still might have some problems. It only boosts it by 20%, which is a lot. As this vile thorn, I mean, it doesn't, is it not anything special, but 20% can help quite a bit. Um, so let's go ahead and buff up and let's get this battle rolling. All right. And then hopefully, hopefully this time with, with that rolling, it's going to do a bit more damage. It looks like it's doing good so far. All right. We've already got some broken segments. Which is awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and heal now. And all right, yep. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna use this for now. It does help a little bit. Now that we have our magic back. Okay. Whew, we're doing a little bit better this time than last time. That's because we're breaking it into a few more segments. And avoiding those shots that are really, really, really devastating to us. Okay. I'm feeling a lot better. Okay. It's working. We have a 13 second cooldown. On this. Okay. We're looking a little bit better. About to hit the health, health potion. Us breaking the segments up keeps us healed. And I'm able to use a health potion. Oh man, are we gonna do it? Are we gonna do it? Oh, I think we are. Okay, yeah, I think so. We're just waiting for the last couple pieces. And... I think we're about to, to finish it, right? About... Oh, come on. Come on, he's, he's playing with us now. And we defeated it! Oh, that took so long. Oh, but now that we've defeated it, it's gonna be so much easier, so much easier to, uh, to fight it next time. Oh. That battle magic potion really did make the difference. That, that uh, magic power potion insane totally helped out and we were able to do it at a pretty decent pace man i died so many times now you may be wondering why didn't i make shadow armor shadow armor is not that great compared to what i already have on i want the max defense right now and not really movement speed and the the set bonus would actually be one defense less than the current set that i'm wearing so i really want to i really wanted to do that Oh man, do not fight this boss above ground. You'll have a really tough time. I recommend totally fighting it underground. Wow. Now that we're back, oh man. Let's go ahead on this one and open the treasure bag and see what we got. All right, so we got the uh, Violent Worm Scarf. And this gives us reduced damage taken by 17%. And it's an expert only item. Oh, and we, okay. So later on, we, we should be able to get these set up and be able to make more. And then we also got this statue, the Eater of Worlds. So I'm definitely going to fight this boss three more times. Not today, but after the meteor spawns so we can get the better meteor armor. And uh, yeah, you have to fight this thing and beat it before a meteor will spawn, as I found out. Um, so guys, super awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. We really need to get this boss done. That is what is going to unlock a lot of potential for us. As you can see in the background, the meteor is fallen. That is super cool looking. Oh man, 
when it goes down to the bottom of the screen, is it totally going to... Well, that was, that was awesome as well. A meteor has just landed. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also, give this video a huge thumbs up. Guys, I'll see you in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.